and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Sive. I am a new plant collector. Um, on the channel I mainly talk about plants, so if you're into that, keep watching and subscribe if you want to. Um, in this video I'm going to be talking about all of the plants that I got in the month of May, which also happened to be um, the month that I had my birthday in, so it's going to be like a May plant haul plus birthday plant haul. Yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first plant that I got this month was a Tradescantia nanook. And um, this grows so quickly, which is very surprising. I didn't think it was going to grow this quickly. I thought it would need like an adjustment period to get growing. But no, instead, it just kind of like as soon as I brought it home, it just shot out loads of new growth, which is great. And um, it has loads of kind of new ones popping out in here. It was just these four. And they were maybe this big, all of them. Um, it's also all the roots have come out on it, which is great. Um, yeah, if you want a fast growing plant, get a Trinoscantia. It's great. The second plant that I got in May was the Hoya Crimson Queen, Hoya Carnosa. Um, I was really scared to get a Hoya just because I heard that they can actually die kind of easily if you don't know their care needs. Um, this so far hasn't died. I did get it at the start of May and it is now the start of June. Um, but it's also grown a little bit. Um, I kind of want to stick it on a little trellis and have it like kind of going up in a cute little way. It is a very pretty plant and I'm very excited that I own it. So the next plant I got I'm really excited about. It is a wishlist plant, but I got a philodendron birkin or a philodendron white measure is another name for it. But I am so obsessed with how this plant looks. Just that those leaves are just phenomenal looking. So yeah, little wishless plant. Um, surprisingly didn't cost me a lot either, which is kind of nice. Like it's not a very expensive plant anyway, but I just thought it would be more pricey. Um, but it has loads of new leaves going up since I've gotten it. It has produced four new leaves. So that's kind of handy. I'm so pretty. So the next one I got, which I'm very excited about, is a Monstera Deliciosa. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while now, and when I got it, this was the newest leaf, and it only has one little tiny hole in it. And then this leaf had one fenestration, and that was it. And I was like, oh, you know, it's going to take a while for me to see any nice fenestration. And then in my care, it popped this out, which has five fenestrations, which I was very surprised about it. It is in my east facing window, so it gets a good amount of morning sun. And I think it really likes it there. So I'm going to leave it there as long as humanly possible until I have to move. And that is it. It stays where it is. It likes it. Not changing it. So the next four I'm going to show you were gifts um, that I got from my boyfriend for my birthday. He ordered them all online. So the first one that he got me was... Azizi Raven. It is, this is also a wishlist plant, which I'm really excited about. Um, I wanted the Raven over kind of the original ZZ just because I love how dark the leaves are. They're so cool looking. But yeah, and it came in good condition. I did, it was a lot bigger, but I separated it into two different plants. I have one in my room and then I have another one in my sitting room. And it's just very pretty. And I like how dark it is. So the next plant I got from my boyfriend for my birthday was a lemon and lime philodendron. Um, he just got me loads of plants off my wish list, which was kind of nice. <laughs> um, I'm very excited that I have one of these because I just think they're really pretty. I already have a neon pothos, so now that I have the lemon and lime philodendron, they just look so pretty. They're in like opposite sides of my room, but they look really pretty together, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, so I got a new little leaf that came out. I think this is a new little one as well. I'm very excited to see this one grow and get big. So the next plant that uh, he got me was a Mandula pothos. And it's just, it's it's produced new leaves, but they're like nearly entirely white, which is kind of cool. I know that's not really good because they can't photosynthesize if they don't have green in their leaves. Um, but the other new leaves that have come out do have a good splash of green on them. But just these two little leaves that have just opened up are nearly entirely white, which I don't know, I find it kind of cool if it's like one or two are completely white and then the rest are 
okay and they can photosynthesize for those two leaves but um this is a really pretty plant i actually i've never even seen one of these until like he bought me one and i i saw it and then i looked it up and it just looks so cool so i'm really happy that i have one in my collection now but yeah mandula and the next the last one that he got me for my birthday is a variegated string of hearts a serapeggio woody eye I am very excited about this. It's actually grown quite a good chunk since I got it, which is quite interesting. But um, it's just like, I have the regular Serapeggio Woody Eye. The Serapeggio Woody Eye. <laughs> it's so hard to pronounce. I have the regular string of hearts, but I did really want the variegated one because I love, oh, I love the pink backs. They're so cute. And now I have one and I have my boyfriend to thank for that. So thank you. And the last plant that I bought for myself for my birthday is actually an Alocasia Zebrina. This, this is such a beautiful plant. The stems on it are just so pretty. It opened this new leaf. Like it kind of, it was unfurling when I bought it and it opened it and it's so much bigger than the rest of them, which is kind of cool. Um, I have an Alocasia poly. And it's been doing well, so I think I'm okay with alocasias. So I've heard it can be kind of finicky, like alocasias in general, in general can be kind of finicky with their care needs. But from all the research that I've done, these ones, the Zebrinas kind of like to not be on the drier side, but when in doubt, underwater, because they can get root rot really easily. Same with any alocasia, they can get root rot quite easily. So it's just kind of best to err on the underwatering side rather than the overwatering side with allocations. And super high humidity is key from what I've noticed. I have, again, I only have two allocations. I am not in any way like an expert on them. Not a hope in hell am I an expert on allocations. But so far, the two that I have have been doing quite well. I have them right beside my humidifier, like smack bang, they are getting hit with the humidity. And they seem to be enjoying it. They seem to be doing quite well. So yeah, that is all the plants that I got in May 2021 and also for my birthday. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just throw me a comment. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. And thank you. See you later. Bye.